Dear students, good morning. Let us start the discussion on today's newspaper that is 22nd September 2017. The first article, Rajnath, he says Rohingyas are illegal immigrants, not refugees. So we have to understand a difference between an illegal immigrant and a refugee. So if you give a refugee status to a particular citizen, the state is also willing to take the responsibility of him. On the other hand, illegal immigrants have, are violators of the law of the land and these people, the state holds the right to deport them. So in these circumstances, the government wants to see Rohingyas as illegal immigrants who have come for an economic benefit in India. So that categorization brings in or keeps the responsibilities of the government away and giving them a right to deport. In this context, NHRC Chief Mr. Dattu, former Chief Justice of India, has clearly stated that the Rohingyas' rights have to be protected because these are human. So human rights come into existence not based on the not based as the entitlements of the state, but any person who is born on this soil shall be given a right. And then solving the Afghan riddle. So in this if you take the Afghanistan, it is often called as a graveyard for great empires. Either it is the Great Britain or then in Russia, today it is United States of America. Everyone, they are facing a difficult time in Afghanistan. So the present war on terror, it started by George Bush, inherited by Obama, and then presently it is in the hands of Trump. Obama wanted to withdraw as quick as possible from Afghanistan. So lack of its force presence in Afghanistan has strengthened the Taliban further. And the next day, the Trump has recently announced his Afghan policy, which is based on four important pillars. He wants to keep a constant pressure on Pakistan so that the safe heavens are not maintained and uh, continuous presence on the Afghan soil Third is, um, the focus of the armed forces shall be on counter-terror operations. Finally, they are expecting a greater role for India to play. So in this case, what India can do, or how India and Afghanistan relations are, how Pakistan is going to pursue the same, what, is the facts, what are the facts on the ground. India-Afghanistan relations, if you are seen, they are cordial for most of the period. If you leave this Taliban period, most of the times the relations are very cordial with Afghanistan. So keeping, or setting, uh, keeping aside protocol, first Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru made an agreement with the Afghanistan ambassador. And second is, in 2011 too, India is the first country so, to sign a strategic partnership with Afghanistan. Further to this, India has spent close to $2 billion in developing in physical infrastructure like roads, Salma Dam, etc. and also the public institutions like parliament. And people of Afghanistan, they hold India on a high pedestal for the reason that India never interfered in the internal affairs of the Afghanistan. So America wants to use this goodwill and wants the India to play a greater role in Afghanistan. And India won, was not interested to supply lethal defense weapons to Afghanistan. Probably, I mean, probably U.S. is expecting India to play a greater role in defense cooperation too. And further to this, the narcotics trade, it is the major source of funds to the terrorists, which has to be fought by the international community. And India is also investing in Chabahar port in Iran. And this will provide for an alternative trade and transit route to the Afghanistan. And India is also looking for support, giving support more to the human resources training over there. Unless Afghanistan national forces are being trained, uh, stability of the Afghanistan cannot be ensured by the foreign troops. Now coming to India-Afghan relations and Pakistan dimension. Pakistan considers Afghanistan as its... Uh, in back ad, and do not like India to have a good or formal relation, formal relations with Afghanistan. But it is based on misplaced belief, because from very beginning, if you analyze, 
India Pakistan relations their ups and downs did not affect either India Afghanistan relations or Pakistan Afghanistan relations either it is 1965 war 1971 war so pa- Afghanistan did not take any stand even on the Kashmir it did not have any support to India's stand so in these circumstances Pakistan's un- un- misplaced fears are n- need to be taken care of or need to be kept aside and second aspect to this is the united states of america what role it is expecting out of india has to be clearly mentioned rather than keeping it in the broad terms so this is what the article is talking about turn the page to a new chapter so this is written by you the chinese ambassador to india and he says that both the countries have kept the doklam stand off aside and are moving forward with mutual trust you can clearly see in the other dimensions these things economic and trade relations are growing city city local connections are growing between indian cities and chinese provinces and further to that high level communication is still active in this uh, still active among the leaders so that's why we don't need to worry about the chinese and in china and india's relations we have to worry about how to strengthen them further so the author suggests that um, india and china can start conversations on good neighborliness and friendly cooperation and uh, sec- friendly cooperation agreement and second is whatever the border issues which are pending till date whatever has been solved they can have they can have an early harvest India's activist policy can get converged with uh, China's Belt and Road Initiative these are the three so these are the three choices which are been uh, or these are the three points which are been given by this particular article taper time table so us felt uh, it is very cautious uh, with regard to tapering of its uh, free interest rates it, uh, provided in the past so it means whatever the monetary policy benefits uh, which have provided for free cash free dollars low cost dollars to the world uh, is going to stop very soon it means that uh, as the number of as the fed starts tightening the capital is expected to move from uh, countries such as india back to the united states of america so indian monetary policy rbi these have to gear up for this change that is what is the article talks about previously when recession has come up to recover from the recession the monetary policy was effectively used as an instrument in the united states of america as employment rates went high now the us fed wants to raise its interest rates so that whatever is been provided is tampered off that's what we have to understand freedom from fear so press freedom is an important aspect of article 19 1a of the constitution freedom of speech and expression also has freedom of press so at recent attacks on the journalists it has to be considered as a violation of the freedom of press either it is gauri lankesh or the recent attacks in tripura everything keeps them vulnerable so india is already placed at the lowest position on an index that is called world press freedom index and india shall provide security to its journalists and safe environment for them to report that's what this article talks about is the sardar sarovar dam boon or been so this article it talks about uh, the sardar sarovar dam which was recently given away to the nation by the prime minister so even uh, gujarat the central gujarat is very prosperous but however the western part kutch and saurashtra region it is a desert region so if it has to be made cultivable fertile water is an essential thing so this entire kutch saurashtra region it is dependent on this sardar sarovar dam project so any big project one issue will be the rehabilitation of the submerged areas most of the times these areas will be in other states too that reaches to interstate river water disputes and second aspect of this is once you build the dam 
you also have to build the distribution network and as you are not you are disturbing the regular uh, river flow then you also have to deal with the growth of salinity in the surrounding shore areas as the fresh water from the river is not entering into the sea that's why estuaries at that level the people are also expected to lose their livelihoods who also have to be rehabilitated so this distribution channel is not at finished and the distribution channels of the central gujarat which is already prosperous are finished but not in kutch and saurashtra region and the project cost is too high at the same time it did not reach to the original intended beneficiaries of 1.8 million and third aspect is we moved away from the era of big dams what now gujarat is only the state which has positive recharge of the water table what made this positive recharge of water table in gujarat it is the small check dams which are been built these check dams are able to uh, are able to revisit or strengthen the aquifers or recharge the aquifers so that's why the era of big dams to an extent is over it is the small check dams which are being more preferred for which are low cost to solutions for countries such as india that is what various aspects which we can see here now again in the news page sonia gandhi wrote to prime minister a letter on women reservation bill the women reservation bill it is pending now in rajya sabha so the upa government has introduced it in rajya sabha and it did not get lapsed as it is pending in rajya sabha itself and second thing is the prime minister modi also started talking about the women reservation bill and we have to see this now the existing situation is women enjoy the reservations in village panchayats where powers are not abundant and they do not enjoy any reservation at the state legislative assembly or the parliament level and then no role for india in afghanistan mr abbasi prime minister of pakistan mr abbasi states that india has no role to play with afghanistan so its objective is more to destabilize pakistan as i said to you these are more and more misplaced fears of pakistan and then plan soon to revive investment mr jaitley so finance minister jaitley stated agreed that the private investments they are not picking up and it is what is the major reason for the growth fall so in this context the government is planning to revive the investments and then tata sons the issue is going on it is changing itself from public limited company to a private limited company next is the cabinet soon to take a 5 billion dollar convention center project it is going to be the biggest in asia so there are no much business story here and then in the final page the notes is available h is placed at likes.in/civilsprep thank you very much and all the best